is up you awesome kisters of the sister reactor guys i um just seen this article come out or article new newsletter whatever you want to call it come out from steel wool on twitter i was scrolling through it and then i seen fnaf ruin so i'm, I'm uh, fnaf security breach ruin let me, let me go back and read this i i think like the first part is just about like an xbox launch for security breach uh, it's been a while since we've given y'all a peek behind the curtain. Time for some updates. Starting at the beginning of the year, we took a long, hard look at ourselves and began discussing how Steel will evolve. We asked two big questions. How do we grow our teams responsibly and improve our development process? Being a scrappy indie developer isn't just in our blood. It's literally in our DNA. That That's hard. Like that That is like probably one of the hardest things I've ever heard a group of game developers say. Now, they say we live for this shit. We are game developers. It is in our blood. It is in our DNA. Yo, Steel Steel Wool, w, w, w team. I see why Scott chose y'all. Um, and monumentally crucial to our creative identity. Altering processes and hiring more folks are going to affect that. So we've been taking our time to ensure the spirit of who we are flourishes to our to meet our lofty ambitions. Jeez, okay, Steel Wool. All right. I like it. I'm glad. I'm glad they're. I'm like, glad they've been. Uh you know taking a look at themselves and hopefully listening to the critiques we had on security breach i'm pretty sure they listen you know uh we knew we needed more developers and operational staff so we set our uh, so we set our hiring goals in february and as and as of today we filled every single one of those roles and nearly doubling the total size of our studio sorry for stuttering so much i'm on a call uh this includes programmers producers game designers animators IT, HR, 2D artists, 3D artists, and a small army of quality assurance staff. We are fully equipped to do some f uh, truly astounding things going forward. Um, I totally almost butchered that sentence. Um, hiring is only half the battle. The second half is analyzing our strengths and weaknesses to determine where we double down, where we need to improve. We've already implemented changes that have shown promise, specifically in our pre-production phases. Speaking of which... Let's talk about security breach ruin. Okay, yeah, see, this is where I like read and I was like, what? Now <laughs> I better record myself reading this. I don't have any gameplay details that we're ready to share, but I can talk about we're we're rad in development. Oh crap. Pursuant to growing our processes, the security breach team spent significant time in rigorous <clears throat> pre-production process, focusing on streamlining our ability to construct fun, uh, stable gameplay. So far this year, we've delivered on our vertical slice milestone earlier than planned and are ahead of schedule for major upcoming development milestone. The, that vertical slice build was the very first one in my entire career. That was a complete actual VC with functional versions of all gameplay elements and systems. We're intended to, I'm sorry, we intended to build our team is absolutely crushing it. And I couldn't be prouder of the team. We're fired up and can't wait to share more with y'all. Oh my gosh. So it's kind of crazy. Like that's like the first bit of security uh, breach ruin information we got after the teaser trailer. Let me know in the comments down below uh, what you guys are hyped for, for security breach ruin. Cause I think they had some type of interview on game jolt recently and they said they wanted to make um, security breach ruin more like the uh, daycare sections and more like the endo sections where like things are meant to scare the shit out of you. Basically no sugarcoating it. So yeah, I can't wait to see what they have planned. I can't wait for some classic FNAF horror. Um, I do hope they do keep the free roam type of aspect with the um, scary sections. Like, don't just make it so linear to the point where we can't, like, go where we want. I think that's, like, my only, uh, my only concern with hearing, like, it's supposed to be just mainly about the scares. I do like the freedom movement in FNAF, so don't forget to try to implement that as much as they can um now for the really exciting news that many of you have been asking for we're incredibly pleased to announce that security breach is coming to xbox series x and xbox one on november 22nd a key area focused on strengthening is our ability to deliver a game on multiple platforms so we cannot thank you enough for the patient while we build this version of the game that's it for now there's there's plenty more to share in the future so stay tuned thank you all for your support it gives us the energy to do what we need. okay so yeah like bro Oh man, I really do hope we get some more um, security breach ruin stuff, man. I, I really do hope we get some up after a little bit after the release, maybe in December. Um, cause man, I'm really trying to, and by release I mean the console release for Xbox uh, and Xbox One, cause I'm really hoping um, 
really hoping they got some trailers coming up or like some type of website that they had for Security Breach when it was uh, releasing originally. So yeah, um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, let me know what you guys uh, hope for Security Breach ruin in the comments down below, and I'll see y'all later. Peace out.